So I'm at Overtime Cards here in Murray, Utah today. I got my buddy out here. I've never been here. Um, I walked in a second ago, forgot my card. So we're gonna see if I can find some stuff. There looks like there's a ton of stuff in here. So they have a lot of great deals on a lot of great cards in this shop. But the reason I came here was for the quarter boxes. So get ready to nerd out with me as we go through my quarter box pickups. A lot of fun stuff. A lot of stuff that will go on whatnot or go on eBay. We'll see. Whatever happens, some stuff I'll hold on to to see if it ever goes up in value. For a quarter, I like picking up rated rookies of quarterbacks. I could probably make a little profit now, or I can hold and see if they pan out. Jabari Smith Jr. I probably told you all the story of Jabari Smith Sr. When I was a teenager, I used to go to the Rocky Mountain Review Summer League in Salt Lake City. Jabari Smith Sr. was on the Kings a couple years there, and he gave me his headband after it came, and I wore that all the time when I played basketball. So I'm a fan of his son because of how cool his dad was. Um, I love these season rookie greetings cards. Uh, Benedict Matherin for a quarter. I'll take it. Bailey Zappi, put it in a box, see what happens. You never know. You know me, guys. I don't want to talk too much about speculation. Nobody knows the future of any player or any card. I say that all the time. But at a quarter, I can take some chances, see what happens. It's a little bit fun. On Dontavian Wicks, pretty good receiver for the Green Bay Packers. Matas Pazulis here in Vegas right now with the G League Unite. I may have heard about Kendon Solis from Gaby's Card Stacks. I don't remember, but um, I picked that up for a quarter. Why not? Detroit Lions stuff does really well for me. Silver Mosaic, Silver Prism rookies, any of that stuff I'm going to pick up for a quarter. Roman Anthony, pretty uh, highly touted prospect for the Red Sox. Jaden Reed, that can go on Whatnot or eBay either way. Some more Roman Anthony. I even got a Chrome Bowman first. I think that's like a three, maybe two, three, four dollar card. Another Jaden Reed. Um, I like the receivers right now, personally, uh, I'm on the Green Bay Packers. I believe O'Neal Cruz is healthy again, so I'm picking up a rookie card at a quarter. Why not? We've got next up Royce Lewis. He had a pretty good postseason last year. A red press-proof Tyree Wilson, a top 15 pick for the Raiders last year. I love the OTE stuff. A lot of cool young players. Don't know who he was, but um, it's a refractor, kind of cool. Lots of Bowman U stuff. I love Bowman U. Uh, a ton. I didn't get everybody. Uh, Omaha Baloo. This is Zachary Rochieri. He's a top three projected pick in this year's draft. I don't know a ton about him. I saw him as high as number one. I've seen him below three even at this point. But at a quarter, I'm going to get it. I was just picking out guys who I thought could do well in the tournament because um, this was before the tournament when I picked up these cards. Um, Tyler Kolick. I actually picked Marquette to win it all, crazily. They did pretty good, but they definitely didn't win it all. But UConn did with Stephen Castle. We got an Aaliyah Edwards Bowman first. This is a refractor. Don't know much about him, but a refractor at a quarter. Why not? Um, Jared McCain out of Duke. Really finished the season out strong. He's projected higher and higher um, in the NBA draft. So we'll see what happens. A couple more Jaden Hardys. Tell me what you think of this kind of long scroll style quarter box video. I myself, when I watch videos, love these. So let me know if you are enjoying this. Leave comments down below. Um, I'd love to hear what you think. I'm picking up a couple AJ Hawk rookies press pass because he is on the Pat McAfee podcast. Um, gotta love that stuff. There's collectors out there from Ohio State from his professional career and also his podcasting career that would be interested in those cards. Next up, we got a couple solid rookies. Big Shot Rob, Robert Horry. Then we got an Al Horford. Great player. I think he's still in the league, right? He's been in the league forever. Here's a cool uh, Ray Wave a refractor of the OTE Chrome stuff. Jaden Hardy, Prism. Picking that up, why not? Uh, De Santos, I think he's actually in the big leagues right now, like a Rule 5 guy. Sean Kemp, rookie, I'll take it. Jamison Williams, I do decent with the Detroit Lions in, in general. Jigba, love it, rated rookie. I love the design of rated rookies. Matt McClain, um, Yanquel uh, Fernandez, um, I heard about him from... Tim Over the Years Sports. Check out Tim at Over the Years Sports, by the way. That dude is awesome. Good, good friend. Zach Veen. Just picking these up at a quarter. We'll see what happens. Yankeel Fernandez, another one. Love the next wave. These were such a cool insert in the 90s. Little editorial side note. When I said I loved the next wave inserts from the 1990s, I was a little bit confused. What I was thinking of was those weird 1990s wave of the future inserts. You know, the ones that like had liquid in them that were like plastic, polyurethane and like liquid inside. Really weird, uh, iconic to me. They were odd though. Love that they're still doing them. Picked up a couple Spencer Torkelsons. I know he's 
I don't know if he's a bust or not, but he, he hasn't been as good as a lot of people thought, or at least he's getting a little better. Jordan Walker, Josh Young, stars of the MLB rookie card, picked up a Topps Chrome Jesus Sanchez rookie card. I'm not sure why I picked that one up, to be honest with you. We got another Torkelson right here, rookies, another next wave. Not the one I thought it was, but still a pretty cool looking insert right there. I like this picture of Spencer right here. It looks like he means business. Another Torkelson. A mojo refractor of Christian Vaquero. Brandon Miller having a pretty decent season. You don't really want the draft prism stuff, but at a quarter I picked it up. It's a bit of a Torquapalooza for me in this box. I'm picking up a lot of Spencer Torkelson. Not sure why, just was feeling it, so I got him. I like this Hunter Green pink optic. I'm also picking up a lot of Francisco Alvarez rookie cards in this quarter box. I'm not entirely sure how he's doing, honestly, and how his rookie year went. I know he was a big prospect at the start of last year, if I remember right. So I'm just picking him up at a quarter apiece, once again, for a lot, or possibly to sell uh, separately if I can. Brian Bello, I know he's a, I think a starter for the Boston Red Sox. Silver, not silver, refractor. A refractor rookie right there. Here's some more Bowman U stuff. Kyle Filipowski, very good player for Duke. We got Cody Williams. Based on his projections, he's probably going to be a top 10 pick in the draft. He's the brother of Jalen Williams of the OKC Thunder. We got a Dalton Neck refractor for a quarter. I'm taking that all day. Tristan Casas, rookie, stars of the MLB. Jordan Walker, stars of the MLB. Here's a few more of those Walkers that I found. I mean, at a quarter, you just can't lose. This is a numbered Nathan Avaldi. One of the Chromium Top Heritage cards. I like these anniversary blues, and it's a color match with Joe Kelly. For a quarter, why not? A Dodger fan would probably pick that up. Got another Jordan Walker, a Chrome rookie. I love it. Picked up several of these Bowman Corbin Carrolls. I know the Bowmans aren't worth a ton, but it's Corbin Carroll, Gunnar Henderson, Adley Rutschman. Big rookies from last year. Fairly base sets, but I'm going to pick those up. Josh Young. We got a Tamar Johnson. I heard about him once again from Tim at Over the Years Sports, I believe. So shout out to my dude. Tommy Troy, I know he was a first rounder last year. Jordan Lawler, I know he was a big deal last year. We'll kind of see how he works out. I'm going to pick up any Matt McLean I see at a quarter. Why not? He had a very good year. Another Yanquel Fernandez. Not sure if I should have picked up the base Bowman, but I was on a run, so I did it. Zach Veen. Another Yanquel. At the very least, since I got several, I can lot them up if I need to. And at a quarter apiece, I, I did pretty well, I think. Jason Dominguez Bowman, or at least I won't lose money, hopefully, on those three. Uh, Jackson Churio, I'll take it. I know it's not like a Bowman first, but still, big-time rookie this year. Another base, Roman Anthony. I believe he's 24 on the top 100 MLB pipeline. Uh, Cam Collier. I got a few more Termar Johnsons, just the Bowman Prospects cards. Not the first. Not sure if I should have picked these up, but once again, they're lot fodder or just something I can throw in a box and see what happens. I love these 87 design cards, Guerrero, Robin Yunt. Um, Bryce Harper. He had a great uh, three home run game the other day. That was amazing. Vladimir Guerrero Sr. was one of my favorite players back in the day. Ricky Henderson. Where does he rate on the all-time best baseball players? Really? I mean, top 10, top 5? There might even be an argument for the best player ever. He's a bit underrated, I think. He was a great, great player. Jacob Wilson, a uh, first-round pick. The number one guy in the Oakland Athletics organization. That's not saying much right now, but still, he's the number one guy at the moment. Jason Dominguez, we got, here's uh, a few more Corbin Carrolls. You'll see them throughout this little lot that I'm going through. More Adley Rushmans, can't complain. Another Francisco Alvarez, another Roman Anthony. I'm getting enough to make lots if I need to. And also, hopefully, best case scenario, I can, I can piece them out and make as much money as possible. Matt McClain. As I go through these quarter box finds, I was just basically going through different sport boxes. So right now, obviously, going through the baseball but there's football, there's basketball. And as far as quarter boxes go, these were pretty decent. Evan Carter is one of the more hyped up rookies in this year's class. Another Jason Dominguez. I don't feel like I can get enough quarter Jason Dominguez cards and another quarter Corbin Carroll card. Say that like three times really fast. Quarter Corbin Carroll card. <laughs> 1983 Ricky Henderson. I'll take that all day. Another Omaha. We got another Zachary a Bowman first. I got two of them. I think those are maybe like two or three dollar cards at the moment. Provision. Really the only cards that make those early Fleer sets worth opening, especially in baseball. The 91 set is, is tough, but the Provisions are pretty cool. Here's some more Bowman first stuff. At a quarter apiece, I'm picking a lot of these up. There was a lot in these boxes. I didn't get them all, but I'm definitely getting... Peja's son, Andrea Stoyakovich. 
Here is Solomon Hall of UConn, the national championship winning team. El Marco Jackson, he was a big high school prospect last year. Mac McClung, Mosaic rookie. I'll take those at a quarter all day. He just needs to win another dunk contest, and I should be able to sell that, um, hopefully. And then we got a silver prism football rookie. I'll take that. This is a parallel, like a blue parallel of Mosaic. Another Dontavian Wicks. Stinson Bennett. At a quarter, I'm picking up pretty much any Rookie quarterback from last year, why not? This is Hobby Reserve, Emmett Smith. A Zach Eddy Bowman's best card. He's the best player in men's college basketball. We got a couple of these Michael Jordan Goodwin championship cards where he's just in like casual or business casual attire. I do not love the Goodwin champion stuff, but it's still Jordan at a quarter. Babe Ruth card, pretty dope. I think this is like early 80s, not in the perfect condition. A little ding, so I'm going to put that back. If you were born in the early 80s, these Master Blasters bring back some memories. Bo Jackson, about as good as I can get for a quarter right there outside of maybe King Griffey Jr. Another Jordan Walker. We've got this 2K uh, game day, Dirk Nowitzki. Early Nowitzki, a little bit of chipping on it, but at a quarter, I don't care. I'm picking it up. These aces are really cool from Topps. What a great uh, insert set. Hats off to them. I didn't love the 88 Topps design growing up, but I really liked these throwbacks. Um, they look good. Maybe I need to reevaluate how I feel about the old ones because they look pretty solid. A Steve Kerr rookie card. I'll take that. Another Josh Young rookie. We've got a Ronald Acuna Jr., We've got another one of these Mike Trout's 88 designs. I guess I decided to get that one. I didn't get the other one, did I? I don't know why. We got a Garrett Cole All Aces card and another Josh Young. That's like three of these stars of the MLB rookies that I've counted so far. And a Adley Rushman. Not bad for a quarter. Will Howard is now on Ohio State as a quarterback. That could be big. Picking that up for a quarter. We got Ty Simpson Refractor, Bowman's Best. There was a lot of hype about Deuce Vaughn at the start of the season. Kind of didn't pan out, but still, a red ice. I'm going to take that. Jackson Arnold. I'm separating some cards so that I can make TikToks. I like to make TikToks. So when I put them on the side like that, they're in the pile of possibly going in a TikTok, which I may or may not make at some point. But I like to, to have the film just in case I ever use it. Picking up this Matt Mervis, Bowman first. I know his stuff was pretty hot last year. A Trey Lance, just to throw in a box, just in case. I pick up Trey Lance's when they're cheap enough still. At a quarter, it's hard to pass up a rookie of an iconic player like Chad Johnson. I love these 89 design cards. Willie Mays, that's a dope, dope looking card. Next up, Jared McCain, Ray Wave Refractor for a quarter. What a great deal. I love it. That's going in the TikTok pile. <laughs> We've got these green Pulsar rookies right there from Prism. I'll take that for a quarter. Really don't care who it is at a quarter. I'm going to get it just in case. Another Tamar Johnson. Hinden Hooker. I've been uh, stacking up just some base stuff that I find of him. Here's a Pete Rose Phillies card. He played on the Phillies for like a year or two, right? And then we got a Frank Thomas. This is iconic to me. The first round draft pick score. I know the tops, uh, the no-name one is the most popular. But the score one to me stands out even more so or just as much because it has that first round draft pick symbol up there in the corner. And another Ricky Henderson from 83. Not bad for a quarter. Will McDonald, silver prism rookie. Here's a silver optic preview, I think it is, um, of Will Anderson from Chronicles. Tyson Badgett. I was finding these for like a dollar early on. Selling them for like two, three, five, ten. I mean, it's probably down, but at a quarter, I'm still picking up Tyson Badgett rookies. I believe these are out of the sparkle packs. A blue sparkle, I guess is what this is called, of Kevin Harris, rated rookie optic. I could be wrong on that. We got a CM Punk mini card. That's pretty dope. Here is a Jameer Gibbs, Detroit Lions. Love that stuff. Uh, Sam Laporta, good rookie this year for the Detroit Lions. Another guy from the quarterback class last year, Will Levis. Hinden Hooker, picking up these quarterbacks. And all aces, Pedro Martinez, one of the best to ever pitch. And a Gerace Walker, love it, from the McDonald's Tops Chrome set. A Stetson Bennett Prism rookie card. We got a bunch of these logo refractors, a Cade Cavalli, a uh, Gabriel Moreno. A Bo Naylor logo refractor rookie card. I know him and Josh both play on the Guardians and their brother, Miles, I just found out, plays in the Oakland A's organization. One of their, like, top 10 or 15 prospects or 20, something like that. We got a bunch of these logo refractors. I wasn't messing around. A couple Max Scherzers. We've got a Nick Prado. A few rookies. 
I like when I find rookies in any kind of refractor. You never know if they're going to, you know, break out and become big stars at a quarter apiece. I'm willing to take that chance. And I should be able to make a profit now if I flip them. A Monopoly Prism Rookie Gerace Walker. Who would have thought it like five years ago that there would be Prism Rookie cards with just Monopoly on them? It's kind of odd if you think about it. A Kenny Pickett Illusions Rookie. The Illusions look so good. A Sean Kemp Skybox Rookie. Another Colic Bowman first from Marquette. Pretty solid player. Bill Cartwright, 1981-82 tops, I think. Got another run of logo refractors. Oscar Gonzalez of the Guardians. We got a future stars, Francisco Alvarez of the New York Mets. A Vaughn Grissom logo refractor rookie. Some of these blue press proofs. Micah Parsons looks really good with the Dallas Cowboys uniform. Here's some rated rookies in the press proof. The Roshan Johnson, Jonathan Mingo. Kind of a color match. I know it's a teal on dark blue. A kind of a color match. Tarjay Spear. And this is a, a definitely a color match, right, with the Brian Branch. I pick up most anything interesting that's Jamar Chase. He'll always sell on my whatnot. He's popular overall. I believe when it was all said and done, I paid roughly $30 for all of those cards. So I even got them slightly less than a quarter a piece. It was a great deal. Lots of fun stuff. Nothing that's like earth shatteringly valuable, but at a quarter a piece, I feel like I got a really good value and I got to go through boxes of cards. And isn't that a big reason why we do this? We love to go through cards. We love to bargain box. Uh, it's what we do, right? Just a quick reminder that every Monday, including this Monday, April 15th at 5 p.m., we do a what not card auction. It's a lot of fun. All the cards start at $2. They go wherever they go. We uh, cap out the shipping cost at $5. So you're not gonna pay any more than $5 total on the shipping. Anything above that, I will pay. And I also, if you didn't know this, you probably heard, I have a $15 code. If you want to use that, the link's going to be down in the description. That'll give you $15 to spend with me or whoever you want on whatever you want on whatnot. I'd love for you to use that and enjoy the, the auction side. It's a lot of fun. It's totally changed how I, I sell cards and how I do business. And it's a lot of fun. A lot of you don't know this, but I was a live auctioneer in Utah for years and years and years. And it's fun to be able to do that again in some small way, selling exactly what I love to sell, sports cards. I appreciate you all. Have a good one.